Hello, friends, and today we're going to practice addition by joining. The cub. Students will know the actions of joining to represent addition. Students will understand that you can solve addition word problems by joining numbers from the story together. Students will be able to model the action of joining and finding the sum of numbers up to 10 using pictures and objects. Let's practice adding by joining while reading ants, ants, ants. Ants, ants, ants. Okay, so Ms. Blanks is going to show you how to find the total number of objects or the sum of objects. Okay, so let's read this together. I see the ants. So there are a group of ants here and a group of ants here. Now, the way that you find the total or how many are all together is you count them all together. And we're going to do that by counting and labeling. Ready? Let's do that now. One. Two, three, and four. So, how many ants are there in total? There's four. So, I'm going to write four here. Okay. Now, we're going to practice making a number sentence using the pictures that we see. Okay. So, we already knew that there were four ants all together or in total. Now we're going to practice creating a number sentence. And remember, in a number sentence, there are two sets of objects. So let's look at the first set of objects. How many do we have? Let's count and see. One, two, three. So in our first box, we're going to write the number three because there were three ants first. Okay? And remember, since we're practicing addition by joining, okay, when we join something, that means we're adding something together. Okay? So we use the plus sign. Okay, now if you notice, this is our second group. How many ants are in our second group? One. So I'm going to write the number one in this box. Okay, so now my number sentence says three plus one equals four. Okay, because there were three ants in the first group plus one ant, which is here in the second group, equals one, two, three, and four. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, let's do this one together. First, we're going to find out how many ants are there all together. It says how many. Ready? There's one, two, three. Make sure you're counting with me. Four, five, six. So how many ants do we have in total? Six. So what number do I need to write here? Six. Good job. All right. Now we're going to practice creating a number sentence with our ants. Ready? Okay. Now let's look how many ants we have in our first group. How many do we have? One, two. Yes. Good job. So what number am I going to put in the first box? Two. Yes. Great. And remember, plus means to do what? that we're going to be joining, and we're going to join our second set or our second group. And how many are in our second group? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Great job. So what number am I going to write in my next box? The number four. Good job. So, so far we have two because in our first set it's two ants and or plus four because there are four ants in our second set. And when we add two plus four together, what do we get? Let's count them all together to see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So two plus four equals what? Six. Good job. You kiss your brain. Awesome. Okay, friends, so I hope you are paying attention because now it's your turn to practice finding the total amount of ants that are all together. And also, I want you to try to practice creating number sentences. And remember to do your best, take your time, count and label, and use your strategies. Good luck.